Hi all. Today let's discuss about what is SSIS and what are all the terms we are going to use in SSIS and we'll see how to create a basic package in SSIS or how to create a packages in SSIS. So SSIS is nothing but SQL Server Integration Services. SQL Server Integration Services. So it is a kind of ETL tool. ETL is nothing but extraction, transformation and loading. So this ETL tool help us to load the data from multiple sources to the destination. So when I say multiple sources, the sources can be uh, CSV files, Notepad files, Excel files and RDBMS, anything. Even it can read the data from SQL Server to SQL Server, SQL to Oracle, SQL to Teradata or from Teradata to any sources to the destination. So it is a one of the very good famous tool in the market. It is a ETL tool extraction, transformation and loading. It extracts the data from the source systems and applies some business rules and load into the destination systems. My destination can be flat file or my destination can be so files or can be RDBMS. So it got introduced this name got introduced in the year of 2005 and modified or updated in the 2008 with a version number of 2008 later it updated with a 2008 or 2 version and 2012. So what are all the terms we are going to use in SSIS? So let me talk about a basic programming language terms. So later we will go to the SSIS terms. So when we go to the programming language terms, first we'll talk about the programs. First we'll talk about programs. So what programs contains? So programs can contain functions or sub programs. So functions and sub programs and functions. What, what functions are sub programs is going to contain statements and variables. If you see here statements and variables means the least level of the program is a statement and variable. So statements comma variables to functions and sub programs to programs. So in the similar way, what is the terminology I'm going to use in SSIS SQL Server Integration Services. So first high level term is a package. So package. So now when we compare this SSIS with a programming language. So my package is nothing but a program in a programming language. So what package contains now containers containers is nothing but a functions or sub programs functions are are sub programs and these containers or functions or sub programs are optional in the programming language or in SSIS packages and next next level is tasks tasks variables and parameters. So the containers are going to contain tasks comma variables or parameters the least level is tasks variables and parameters not only these terms so we have other terms as well but to compare with a programming language so i am going to tell you only about this so later once we enter into the package development and package explanation we'll talk about the remaining terms now if you see tasks variables and parameters are similar to the statements and variables in the programming language so now the ssis package or SSIS project is going to build with the help of the packages, containers, tasks, variables and parameters. So this is about a terminology in SSIS. Now let me show you how to create a basic SSIS project and a basic SSIS package. So let me go to the so I am going to use SSIS 2012 version. So means SQL Server 2012. So when you install SQL Server 2012, okay. So while installing, you need to select the SSIS component as well. Once you select that component, so by default, you will get the SSIS related files in the installation. Now how to create a new SSIS project. So file, go to file, okay. So this editor is going to call as a SQL Server Data Tools, SQL Server Data Tools. 
in the short form as SSDT. Now let's go to file, click on new, click on new project. So once you click on new project, so so you will get one uh, window is a kind of pop up in the left side you will be having business intelligence under that business intelligence you have analysis services integration services and reporting services but for time being i'm going to select the integration services and in the integration services in the middle pane you have two items two icons one is the integration services import project wizard the second one is integration services project for time being i'm going to take integration services project let me select integrating services project and let that down. So by default, you will get some name. So don't go with that name. Okay. So please give the meaningful name. So example, example SSIS. So please give the meaningful name. So in the real time, that is very important. So let's give the name here. Okay. And the location, where do you want to store? So I'm, I'm planning to store in the F drive SSIS folder. And there is a solution name. See, for each and every project, okay. So you will be getting the project name as well as solution name. So this can be different. A solution name can be different and project name can be different. So, but by default, it will come as a project name as solution name. And in the there are two checkboxes. So if you want to need a solution for this, let's click that. And if you want to add this to source control, source control is nothing but a so version control so if you already have a version control in your machine by default the checkbox will come and if you click that checkbox it will ask you where do you want to maintain this code in the server so that source control will help us to do the simultaneous development across the developers so for time being i'm not going to use that option later we'll talk about what is the source control and what are all the different kind of source controls are available and all now let me click on okay so once i click on okay so it may take a couple of seconds to create a new project. So I just clicked on OK there. Now if you see here, so in the left side, I have a SSIS toolbox. In the right side, I have a solution explorer. So if you see, I have a one uh, hide auto hide button. So if I just click here, it automatically hide. So let me fix this. OK, once I click on it. so. So it, it's fixed in the right side. Solution Explorer in the right side, Toolbox, SSI Toolbox in the left side. That is the default uh, positions of the Toolbox and Solution Explorer. If you want to change from right to left, you can do that. Okay. So let me change if you want here. Yeah, I can put wherever I want. Okay. So, but I don't want that because as per the .NET or as per the Microsoft standards, so Solution Explorer should be in the right side and SSI Toolbox or General Toolbox in the left side. Okay, so don't worry if you don't get SSI Toolbox in the left side. So for, for, to show it, I just closed it. So don't no need to worry. So you will be get you will be getting the toolbox in the in the SSIS window, SSIS menu. Let me just yeah. Yeah, in the SSIS. So there is a SSIS toolbox in the menu item. There is SSIS. Just select that. You will get toolbox in the left side. The similar way, if you by by any chance if you close the solution explorer in the right side, so no need to worry. It will be there in the view. Okay. So now, so let me minimize this so that I'll get a package window. And and one more thing. So by default, once you click on the OK button while creating a project, so you will be getting this structure. Okay. So project dot parameters and the connection managers, SSI packages. Under that, you will be getting one sample package with the name of package.dtsx. And next one is miscellaneous. So package by default name and what is the DTSX? DTSX is nothing but extension of a package. Data Transformation Service and XML. The abbreviation for DTSX is Data Transformation Service and XML. So means when I say XML, it is XML format based file. Yes. If you want to see is it either XML file format based or not, just right click on the package, click on view code. Once you click on view code, so it will show you what are all the code it has been generated for us. It has been generated around some 20 lines of code. Okay, but you don't need to worry. So we don't work majorly on this XML. So we'll work majorly on this designer only. Okay, so now 
all the DTSX extension fi uh, files will come under SSH package folder. If you have any miscellaneous supporting files, you can put here. Other connection managers and parameters will come under these respective folders. So we'll talk about those connection managers and project parameters later point of time. And so while creating the project, we gave a solution name. This is nothing but a solution name example SSIS. So this is a project name. Okay. Now, so once you enter into the package, so you will be getting five tabs control flow, data flow, parameters and event handlers and package explorer. First one control flow. So this is the control flow is the one which will help us to specify the requirement. Let us say if you want to read the data from so flat file source to the RDBMS, then you need to specify here. So if you want to read the data from uh, what I say from SQL Server to SQL Server, then you need to specify here. Okay, so now let us say what is data flow then? So in the data flow, so let us say if your source is a, a flat file and the destination is a RDBMS. So that time I cannot directly read and write here in the control flow. Then I need to go for a data flow. And in the middle, while reading data from source files and while loading data into the uh, RDBMS, I may need to do some transformations that transformation will help us here next parameters so parameters is the one so which will help us to maintain some generic values or if you want to reuse some information or if you want to maintain some project level values you can use as parameters we'll talk about in detail later sessions next event handlers let us say this event handler will help us to trace or track the execution flow of the package let us say it will help us to track the so execution of a package or execution of a control or a task. OK, so I, I, I need to write some specific code based on the event on the error event or on success event or on progress event. So this will really help us in the real time to track or to trace the package status where exactly it is, uh, where exactly it failed and next. Package Explorer. Package Explorer is the one which will give you the package information. So how many connections are used, how many log providers are used and what are their names and what are all the variables are used, how many controls are used. So that entire information it is going to contain. So we are not going to do anything manually here. So whatever you do in the other four tabs that will automatically come and sit here. OK, next. So. Uh, like how do I design this? So in the left side, as I said earlier, there is SSIS toolbox with the help of the SSIS toolbox. So I will design the control flow, data flow and event handler. If you see SSIS toolbox, it is categorized. It is categorized. So with favorites, common and containers and other tasks. So favorites are the one which we use very regularly, very frequently. Common. Common is a kind of so occasionally we are going to use and containers uh, in the containers we may need to use sequence container very regularly and for each and uh, for loop we may need to do occasionally uh, and other tasks are we may or we may not get a chance to use okay so so and in the in the 2012 version so we will be having SSI categorized toolbox but if you go to the same SSIS version of 2008 R2 or 2008. So you don't be getting SSIS toolbox. You will be getting normal toolbox and it is not categorized. Okay. So this is all about a basic package creation and introduction to the package. In the next session, we'll talk about so how to load a data, how to load a data uh, from uh, flat file source to destination and all. So thank you for watching. If you like my video, let's subscribe and provide your feedback. Thank you.